So we have a very interesting equation here, which is something like this. 2 times cos square x cubed plus x is equals to 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power minus x. So we want to solve this equation and it looks pretty terrible because one side is trigonometric function and other side we have exponential function. So how do we go about that? The strategy is surprisingly different. You have to use the notion of inequality to do this. Notice that this 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power minus x, this quantity 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power minus x which is equal to 2 to the power x plus 1 by 2 to the power x. This is always greater than or equals to 2. Why is that? You can use something called AMGM inequality. I talked about it in the previous video and other videos as well. The idea is this that the arithmetic mean that is the average of two numbers is always greater than or equals to the geometric mean which is square root of a times b in the case of two elements a and b positive quantities only of course uh, 2 to the power x is always positive so we are covered there in fact it's greater than 0 and um, 1 by 2 to the power x is also greater than 0 so you can apply that here 2 to the power x okay maybe i can just pull it here 2 to the power x plus 1 by 2 to the power x by 2 so you take the arithmetic mean that is greater than or equals to the geometric mean that is 2 to the power x times 1 by 2 to the power x square root of that. So 2 to the power x plus 1 by 2 to the power x I can cross multiply the 2 so these two will cancel is greater than or equals to square root of 1 times 2. So that's exactly what I said that 2 to the power x plus 1 by 2 to the power x is greater than or equals to 2. In fact, you can remember this as a strategy in problem solving that a number plus its reciprocal, a number plus its reciprocal is always greater than or equals to 2 if the number is positive, of course. So we have this, uh, the right hand side is greater than or equals to 2, this part, this is greater than or equals to 2. The left hand side is 2 times cosine square x cubed plus x. Now this is very simple, cosine, co cosine x cubed plus x, forget about x cubed plus x for the moment, this is always less than equals to 1, right, cosine of anything is less than equals to 1. So cosine square is definitely less than equals to 1 as well, 2 times cosine square is always less than equals to 2 then, you're just multiplying 2 to both sides. So. In this equation, 2 to the 2 times cosine square x cubed plus x equals to 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power minus x. The left hand side is less than equals to 2. The right hand side is greater than or equals to 2. So comparing both sides, we see that the only place they can be actually equal is when both of them are equal to 2. And you can check that can only happen for x equals to 0. So in the comment in the description, can you tell me why the right hand side can be equal to 2 at only x equals to 0? And the same thing is true for the, so the, equal, the, the equality can only happen for x equals to 0. Can you give me a finishing argument for this problem? Uh, it's very simple. You have to just check the condition of equality for AMGM inequality and uh, that is it. You solved an equation involving trigonometric function, exponential function and polynomials using the notion of inequality. It's so beautiful. This particular problem uh, came up in ISI entrance but it's also from an old Soviet Olympiad. I'll share the book, uh, name of the book that you, where you can find problems like this, more problems like this in the description. Uh, keep on doing great problems. I'll see you in the next one.